Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 42. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue about add a theme customizer. As in the last video, we understood that is what is a theme customizer. Now if I back to admin panel, go inside either appearance or customize or simply we can click the customize icon here. So if we click on that, let's say that in case of our theme, we want to customize or we want to create a customizer like a section or some controls which is going to contain or let's manage this copyright message. Because right now it's a static value. If we go to editor, press control B or go inside our footer.php file and inside this footer.php file as we can see that this is a static message. So we want to actually manage this message form like in the dynamic way that each of the message we can change here and it is going to reflect here. So we need to actually register a section as well as some controls which is going to manage this. Now back to editor, go inside functions.php and inside this functions.php we are going to make a section as well as a like setting and a control so that we can register our section inside this list what we are getting right now is site identity, menus, home page and so on. So let's say that inside this functions.php we are going to make a function something let's say if we copy all about our theme prefix that is simple bootstrap theme so that it is not going to conflict with any of the WordPress function. So simple bootstrap theme and let's load WP customizer. Now inside this function we need to pass a WordPress global object available that is available global object something WP customize. By the help of this global object actually we can use and go ahead with the theme customizer functionality because by the help of this WP customize it is going to provide some methods. By the help of those methods we can easily register our section, settings as well as controls. So inside this function we will write our customizer code it's a customizer code and finally we are going to bind this function with a let's say customize customizer register it's customize register not customizer and here we have misspelled all about register spelling so copy this function name and I am passing as a second value of this add action function so simply we are going to write our all code inside this function and we are going to bind this function with this customize register so that it is going to load all the settings what we will do inside this theme customizer panel. Back to editor. Let's say that by the help of this WP customize object first of all we are going to make a section here that is here site identity is a section as well as WooCommerce section is a panel but we are not going to actually talk about panels here we are going to make a simple section inside that section we will register some settings and inside that settings we will have some controls so what I will do back to editor let's say WP customize underscore we have a add section function it's a method. By the help of this global object actually we are calling this method. Now inside this first of all we need to pass our section ID. So I am writing here let's say sec underscore copyright. It's a ID. As we know that we are going to create a section like for the copyright. So this is my naming convention and I also recommend to you that please write sec underscore here and your section name so that it is not going to conflict with the WordPress functions or provided WordPress section IDs. Now inside this second parameter of this add section method 
we need to pass the rest values inside this array. So we will have a title. Let's say that this is copyright section. And inside this we have another key called description. Let's say this is a copyright section. How we can find about this title and description? If we back to our browser, go inside this theme customizer panel. Let's click on this site identity and as we can see that this is all about the title and right now we don't have any description for this. If we go to WooCommerce, now also we don't have any like our description here. So simply in our case we are going to provide a description something like this is a copyright section and here we will have a title for that. Next after registration of this section now we are going to register a setting so that that setting is going to contain a control like input type text control where we can keep or fill our copyright text. So let's see that here this is all about adding section. Next we are going to add let's say adding a setting. So same WP customize object and we are going to call a method something add setting. Inside this again we need to pass our setting ID in the first parameter. So let's say set. This is set which indicates all about setting. This is sec which indicates about section. So set underscore copyright and inside this array of parameters we can pass our rest values. Inside this add setting the first the array value I'm going to pass something let's say type here and this is we have options available inside this something like we have theme mod as well as option. We will discuss about theme mod and option in great detail inside next video. This is only we are going to register our theme customizer so that we can see a layout to actually manage our footer text. So here inside this type let's say that theme underscore mod. This is the key which is going to use and store our copyright content into the database with the theme modification section. One of the great means one of the difference between option and theme mod I had discussed inside previous video is that option value is accessible in all the plugins and WordPress themes which is activated or let's say deactivated. But in case of theme mod only the activated theme should access all about the value and the activated theme is that theme which have its functions.php file. Means simple bootstrap theme only is going to access this value what we are going to set inside this copyright section as well as about the field and controls of these settings. Next we have a default key. Default key it means that if suppose at the initial stage we don't have any value inside our provided control. So by default it is going to contain the default value. If we back to browser, let's click on site identity. So right now this is the value what we have saved from the admin panel. So this is the value. So at the first stage in our copyright text we have a blank text. So that's why I am to leave blank of this field. Next we will have called sanitize callback. This is like this is the filtration of the value what we will fill inside our input type text. This is going to filter that value. It means suppose in case of admin details let's say admin provided some HTML text inside copyright. So we are going to filter that inputted value before saving to our database. Otherwise this is a case of SQL injection. So inside this we are going to simply call sanitize hyphen underscore sorry and this is text field. So this is all about the registration of our settings 
or we can also refer as this is the field here. Next, we need to add our control now. So this is add control. It means that this is a section inside each section like if you go back this is a section we have registered and we have registered all about the field area now we need to actually write our control here so go here again we are going to use called wp customize and we have a method for that called add control now inside this add control the first parameter we need to pass our setting id that is this is the control we are going to add inside this area so if I copy this set copyright passing it here and same we need to pass the rest of values inside an array so inside this we'll have label let's say that copyright next we'll have a description so this is the description of this control and simply let's say please fill the copyright text next we have the section key and we need to pass the section ID inside this so this is the section actually we are going to add this control inside this section we have this area and inside this area this is the control we are adding and lastly we have called type key because as we had discussed that in case of our type we have either a text box we have a text area we have some upload icon we have some drop downs and many more like read queue and check boxes but in our case it is a simple text box so here inside this control we need to tell that we need a text box and these are the settings this is the control we are going to add inside this like setting and this is the setting actually is attached with this copyright section now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this customizer panel and as we can see that this is a section what we have developed called copyright section if we click on that this is all about copyright section and here we will have a description this is the description what we have added with the section next we will have its area inside this area as we know that this is the theme mode which is going to add our information with the activated theme as well as if we input any value inside this before saving to database this is going to sanitize that and this is the function this is a default provided WordPress function which is behind the scene going to sanitize the value before saving to the database and finally this is the control what we have added this is a text box here we have the label and the description behind the scene we have registered this text box inside these settings and inside this section so that's why this control is appearing only inside this copyright section we are not getting this text inside any of other sections so in the next video guys we will see that how can we put any value and render inside this footer area so inside this video session guys if you're in doubt then please drop a comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great value